Good morning, this is PJ. We're here today for our daily lectionary reading. However, with it being Sunday, our daily lectionary readings are the readings that will be in church. It is the 20th Sunday after Pentecost, October 10th, 2021. We're still in the year B. And so we'll do our first reading, our psalm reading, our second reading, and then our gospel reading. Our first reading today comes from the book of Amos, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7, and then verses 10 through 15. Seek the Lord and live, and he will break out the house of Joseph like fire, and it will devour Bethel with no one to quench it. Ah, you turn to justice to wormworm and bring righteous to the ground. They hate the one who reproves the gates, and they abhor the ones who speak the truth. Therefore, because you trample on the poor and take from the levies of grain, you have built houses of hewn stone. But you have not lived. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink their wine. For I know how many of you are transgressors, and how great are your sins, you who afflict the righteous, who take a bribe and push aside the needy in the gate. Therefore the prudent will keep silent in such a time, for it is evil time. Seek good and not evil that you may live, and so that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil and love good, and establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord... The God of hosts will be gracious to the remnants of Joseph. Our psalm reading today is from Psalm chapter 90, verses 12 through 17. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning in your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad in all the days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us and as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the flavor of our Lord, our God, be upon us and prosper us for the work of hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 through 16 is our second reading. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And before him, no creature is hidden. But all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. But we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive and find grace in the time of need. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 17 through 31. As he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, I have kept all of these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to the disciples, 
how hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? And Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news. Who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age houses, brothers and sisters, mother and children and fields with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. And here ends our readings for the day.